Hi there, it's Allison Tips here, and today I want to talk to you about fear. I just had a conversation with a woman who is really, really interested in starting on her own business. Um, she's really into health and fitness, and she's been seeing what I've been doing, and you know, she said, I'm really think that this could be a great opportunity for me, but she said, you know what, I'm deathly afraid of starting my own business. And she goes, you know, Allison, you make it look so easy. And I had to remind her and actually remind myself that when I decided to leave corporate America December 18th, 2009, I was filled with fear. I was afraid that I was going to fall flat on my face. I was afraid that I was going to be broke. I was afraid that I was going to make mistakes. I was afraid that no one would sign up for my programs. I was afraid that, you know, people would talk about me and laugh about me and make fun of me and that no one would listen to me and believe me and, you know, that everything would just like crumble around me and I would just struggle and it'd be horrible. And you know what? To be honest, <laughs> every single one of my fears actually came true. <laughs> so... You know, I say all that to say that, yes, in life, you're going to do things, you're going to have these big goals, these big dreams that you're going to want to accomplish and want to do, and you know what? You're going to be fearful about it, and the, the honest truth and reality is, yeah, you may face some of those fears, and they may become your reality. I made mistakes. I failed many times. I was broke. I remember once getting a letter from my insurance company saying they're going to, you know, cancel my insurance because I couldn't pay it for, you know, I couldn't pay like $150 or whatever the case was. But the thing is, in entrepreneurship or anything else, you have to keep going. You have to have your end game in mind, in sight, in pure vision in front of you, and you just go through it. And letting your fears just become stepping stones from you. And the one thing that I remembered going through everything with entrepreneurship and the fact that four years I'm still here as a full-time entrepreneur doing what I love and everything like that, it just proved to me that, yeah, fears are real. Fears happen. But of all the fears that I had, you know, none of them killed me. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm still breathing. My heart is still pounding, which means that there's still some purpose left in me to give. And I can't let my fear of, of things happening prevent me from moving forward. So to the woman that I was speaking to today, you know what? Don't let fear hold you back from pursuing your dreams. And if you have a big goal, a big dream, and it's just like really scary and like kind of, you know, kind of taunting you and keeping you from moving forward, just feel the fear, but do it anyway. So I hope you have a great week. And I hope that you have a fearless week and that you go out there and crush your goals and dreams and make it a great day.